Respected listeners on the day of Eid, in Eid Salah I talked about the importance of Al-Aqsa and Palestine in the sight of the Quran and Sunnah. Alhamdulillah, as you all aware, a ceasefire has been agreed. What tends to happen, the Muslim community tends to be very reactive rather than proactive. Something happens, people become interested in Palestine, where the media is not reporting on Palestine, the passion of the Ummah dies down. This is not the way of the Muslim Ummah. I was teaching one of my students in California, a 16 year old, uh, I've been teaching him and his brother for a year. So on Monday I said to him, that your president Joe Biden, he's not a very good person. He approved a $700 million deal with the Israelis to sell them military equipment. So he retorted that, well, he's good in the rollout of vaccines. And in front of my eyes, I thought to myself that the year I've spent teaching him Tajweed, his Tajweed has improved. But this child has not understood Islam. I failed in my duty in making him understand and have empathy towards his fellow Muslim. And to be honest, I was very shocked to hear a Muslim downplay the issue of Palestine just because the leader of the country has managed to roll out vaccines to over 12. In the US, vaccines are available for anyone over the age of 12, which is a milestone for our country. But for a believer, my friends, to consider his leader to be good, despite his involvement in zulm against the Palestinian people is a misunderstanding of what a good leader is. For any Muslim, the red line has to be Palestine. There's a by-election in a couple of months in Batley. And some of the messages going around are when the political parties knock on your door, ask them, what their parties were doing in regards to Palestine. You know, as a Muslim community, we are not selfish. You know, we vote in our councillors and we vote in our MPs just because we manage to get permission for building an extension. You know, if the councillor manages to pass and get us our permission for building an extension, we're for them. My friends, this is not the, the mentality of a believer. We feel the pain of our Muslim brothers throughout the world. You know, La ilaha illallah is something which joins us with our Muslim brother in Africa, our brother in Pakistan, in India, our Muslim brother in Palestine, in Libya, in Yemen. And the bond of Iman is stronger than the bond of blood. And this is something proven to us by the companions. May Allah be pleased with them. So as an Imam, I never want to hear again that this leader is good because of X and Y. Especially when in their eyes, the blood and honor of a Muslim is cheap. The honor and the blood of a Muslim, my friends, as I mentioned in my khutbah of Eid, has more honor and status in the, in the sight of Allah than even the Kaaba. Let go of our personal gains. Move away from supporting people based on family, based on culture, based on where they come from. And we know it's haqiqat that some of the people we give a vote to today mainly is because they come from the same country as us. And 
it's a shame that those who call themselves Muslim and we have elected them as our leaders of the community, they are silent on the issue of Palestine. Why are we giving them our vote? Why are we not robbing these people? Because we've put you in that position. You are answerable to us. And there was an issue two weeks ago in Jubilee Town Hall. I attended the protest alongside some of the members of the Shura. And actively, as a masjid, we took a stance. And we are going to use the masjid platform to talk about Palestine. To talk about the maqam of Palestine and the Palestinian people in the eyes of Muslims. So even though, my friends, there has been a ceasefire, ceasefire, illegal settlements continue to exist. The Palestinians in the West Bank continue to struggle to move freely because of checkpoints. They struggle to get treatment, medical treatment, because of checkpoints. They struggle to access education because of checkpoints. So my friends, I finish on this. Do not allow the ceasefire to cause your passion for Palestine to cease to exist. I recommend a, a local, it's also a national organization, known as Friends of Aqsa. Donate your sadaqa and lila to them. Because for, for years they've been making an effort to raise awareness of the issue of Palestine. And mashallah, there are some local brothers who run it. And that's the thing, my friends, that we, we, we struggle to understand the history of Palestine. If someone came today and made an argument about the current entity that has occupied Palestine, many people in the crowd would be able to, unable to answer some of the arguments. Because we lack the understanding of the history of Palestine. So I urge all of you to study the history of Palestine. Inculcate the love of Palestine in the hearts of your children. No child, no 16-year-old Muslim youngster living in California should ever say to the start that our country president is a good one because he has rolled out vaccines despite selling $735 million worth of equipment, military equipment to, to, to the Israelis. This is not our yardstick for a good leader. We ask Allah to grant us this passion and love for our fellow Muslim.